Hey guys, my name is Ty and I'm the Assistant Manager of Support here at Zydax. Today we're going to go over how to remove or reseat your graphics card. This can be useful if you're replacing it with a new one, upgrading, or if you're just having some troubleshooting problems. In this case, the graphics card is right here. Let's get started. Alright, so the first step to removing the graphics card is going to be to remove the screws. In this case, they're hidden behind a cover. Sometimes this is plastic and just has clips that hold it on. This one's screwed in, so we'll go ahead and remove this screw. And set the screw and the cover aside. And now we can get access to all the screws that would hold in any add-in cards like a graphics card. So we'll go ahead and remove the two for the graphics card. Set that one aside. And we'll take that one out. And now we can go back to the inside of the case and remove the card. All right, so after you've got the screws removed, the first thing we'll want to do is more than likely remove the power supply cables. Sometimes if there's enough slack, you can leave them in, but we'll go ahead and remove them. There's a small clip on the bottom side or top side, depending on your card. You'll just go ahead and pinch that and pull and wiggle and the cables should come right out. And now that we've got those out and we've got the screws out over here, the only thing holding the card left is there's a small clip on the motherboard right there and you can only see it from really the top side. Sometimes you can get to it with your finger. Sometimes it's easier with a small screwdriver. We'll just go ahead and push on that clip until you hear it release. And then you can just slowly wiggle the graphics card out and set it aside safely. All right guys, let's go ahead and install our 1080 Ti graphics card into our system. It will go in like this with the motherboard side up and the power cables on the right. We'll just want to line it up with the holes in our case. Make sure it lines up with the slot in the motherboard and just push firmly in until the slot clicks into place. And then we've got a few power connectors here. And from your power supply, sometimes it'll just be a six pin and there'll be an extra two. So if you have an eight pin connector, you just connect them. And if you're upgrading your graphics card, there might be an extra two pin or another cable hidden in the back for you. So we'll go ahead and plug those in. And once we have those plugged in, there's just a couple screws we'll put it on the side. Now that we've got it back in the motherboard, let's go ahead and reinstall the screws that hold the graphics card into place. For all of our graphics cards, there'll just be two screws. One that goes in the middle of the slot and then one that goes into the top side of the slot. And now in most cases you would be done. In some cases there's a cover like this. Sometimes it's plastic and it snaps in. On this case, the Leviathan, it's actually metal. So it slots in right here. And then there's one more screw that goes in. And that's it, your graphics card's in. We can go ahead and start the system up, make sure your drivers are up to date and get back to gaming.